Hello YouTube! My name is Lasan Fay, and I would like to welcome you to my brand new Blind Let's Play of Mass Effect Andromeda. So, I finished the Mass Effect Trilogy uh, Blind Let's Play, um, gosh, earlier this year. Um, and decided to take a break so that way I could judge Andromeda for itself. Um, and I think I'm now in a place where I'm able to do that, so that's why I've decided to start this now. Um, not to mention having the free block in my schedule. Also, um, as one of my friends who supports me on this channel pointed out, um, Andromeda and Hellblade also came out at the same time. Um, and I know she felt a little jilted by Hellblade because it was what Andromeda was compared to. Um, but Hellblade is... Hellblade Center was Sacrifice, um, which is has been my Sunday show. Um, or a Sunday blind let's play for a while now. Um, is a significantly shorter game than Mass Effect and Andromeda. And so... I don't think it's necessarily fair to compare the two of them uh, from that perspective. So I'm not going to be comparing them. Um, I'm going to be letting Andromeda speak for itself. Um, and yeah, I hope you all enjoy this adventure with me. So um, I have done some test filming. Um, so, so little that I basically got no plot, um, other than the fact that this takes place some um, 600 odd years past um, the main trilogy. That's the way I interpreted that because um, it, it was like 600 plus years later um, after introducing the um, reading to uh, the Mass Effect universe. There we go. That's the phrase I wanted. Um, but in the original trilogy, we had Anderson, and Anderson was um, part of the First Contact War. So, uh, obviously, this is after that. At least that's my understanding of it, and please feel free to correct me if I am wrong about that. I don't think I am, but feel free. So, um, yeah, let's press space to start. So that's why, um, because I have done, uh, some test filming, that's why there is a resume here. Um, and again, I really, really did not get that far. Uh, like, we will hit how far I got within the first eight minutes. And that's mostly because of cutscenes. So, new game. Um, so I'm going to customize my character. Initializing. Please wait. So I am going to be playing a female writer, uh, aka Sarah. Um, I uh, in my test filming, I did Scott. So, oh, yeah, I, I will look at that in a second. Um, so, choose gender, playing female. Um, I will come back 
in just a moment after I have done all of the character changes that I want. So, hang on. All right, so I have now made the customization of Ryder, which, um, yeah, I, I decided to go for a very fun hair color, uh, partly because I could, and partly because I think people forget that nerds have really fun hair colors. Um, so, uh, you know, I talk regularly sometimes about how uh, I do math in real life, and um, the thing is, is I've spent most of my time uh, teaching math with blue in my hair, or purple, and so I've decided to kind of embrace that here. Um, in its own way, um, because I'm leaving the default name. Um, however, I did call y'all back here to talk about training. So, security, during your Alliance military service, you focused on learning everything you could about weapons and tactics. Um, uh, I'm guessing this is the usual, um, what's the huts? Soldier class. Biotic, you were effectively desig designated biotic during your alliance military tenure, assisting your cohorts with your ability to control mass effect fields. So that's kind of like the adept. Technician. As a technician in the systems alliance military, you learn to operate drones and hack enemy systems. Uh, that is what, the engineer class? I'm just making sure I'm mapping these correctly. Um, nice. These are nice. Uh, leader, you were a team player and a natural leader in the Alliance military, working closely with your cohorts for their safety and the safety of others. Has energy drain, um, annihilation, team support. We have a shifting RM aspect field, so that's kind of a collection. Um, Scrapper, when a fight broke out, you were always the first soldier in the thick of it, mostly according to um, Alliance military protocol, and occasionally not. Uh, so starting power charge, so this is uh, Vanguard, more or less. And operative in the Alliance military, you studied covert operations and the tech used by special forces. Knowledge you rarely found a use for until the Andromeda Initiative. Ha! Here's my infiltrator class. Um, because yeah, starting with tactical cloak. Um, so where do I want to go this time? Uh, you know, Biotic is really kind of the way I haven't played, so I will give that a go to start. So yeah, um, let us confirm and start game. Okay, right. This part. The choosing the difficulty setting. Um, so, per some advice by one of my friends, um, I'm actually going to start this game in casual. Now, if that does prove to be too easy for me, I will up it. But as I am aware, um, the combat system in this changed a bit, and so I want to make sure that I have time to learn that combat system without dying too much. Um, and yeah, so that is my choice. Let us go 
head and begin. With a nice little cutscene. they kept the font though every great moment in our history began with a dream each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it we are all of us leaving behind families homes the very birthplace of our species some for discovery, to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. For the 100,000 adventurers embarking on this one-way voyage, the future begins in Andromeda. Taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, Sarah, yes, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can Apparently. you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year round? How about we oh, get her a cup of coffee fast. first? process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Is she holding a coffee mug? Sarah Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high okay, ratio see, uh, of sorry. potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Helios. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda. Our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Meh. I hope not. 
signed up for a little adventure before we settle down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah? Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in. <laughs> okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your Sam implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Sarah. Are you feeling well? Okay, uh, someone. Implant? What? I just need a second to get my bearings. Uh, what's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still alive. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? Uh, still fine, to be honest. I feel like a 600-year-old popsicle. I hope we packed more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, adeno what? <laughs> it just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your brother. It always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Yep, that's great to experience after being in frozen sleep for 600 years. What's happening? It broke free! Just hang on! Engineering, report! Can I move? Try to brace yourself! Gravity crowd is offline. Okay, what am I looking at? I can't hold the sights! Hold on! I am looking at... her! This okay. is Cora. I'm at the cryo bay. Brace for a reset. <sighs> Everyone okay? No. I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is it the has been. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get- Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Scott uh, Ryder. What'd you do? Bro? What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. Okay, press and hold. Sarah. Is my brother okay? Scott's fine. His vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. So, what does that mean? When can he wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Scott's implant was suspended. However, his pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep him in a low-level coma for a while. Then let his body regain consciousness naturally. He'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door, whenever you're ready to go. How do you want to handle this? Um, keep them in the pod for now. Um, Round the clock monitoring. Okay. We don't know if they're in true stasis anymore. Right. So parts of the body I need damage assessment update. But others aren't. We can't be sure just yet. So, alright, so banter... What about food? We can run an intravenous line into the pod. Standard nutrient package. See how their system responds. So, banter is gender neutral, I'll but direct conversations are gender. And it's necessary and We can't risk pulmonary arrest. Yeah! Please don't send my brother to, into having a heart attack. I would appreciate that. Did the world just turn upside down, or am I still dreaming? You left a nasty bump on here. Hey there! Hell of a wake-up call, huh? Didn't expect that first thing out of stasis. No one did. Makes two of us. Hang in there. Hi. Enjoy your nap, Ryder? Don't think I'll need sleep for the rest of my life. Maybe another decade or two wouldn't have hurt. <laughs> right. Talk to you later. Alright, you're fun. Data pad. Press and hold. 
All right, message from Jean Garrison. Hello, traveler. Welcome to your first day in Andromeda. This is the dawn of a new era for all of us. As you recover from stasis, knowing that you're in good hands, uh, in a few short hours, you'll be, or know that you're in good hands, not knowing. Uh, in a few short hours, you'll be leaving the Hyperion and joining thousands of your fellow colonists as you chase your fortunes and build the new life you've always dreamed about. It's been a long wait, but I promise you it'll be worth it. Gene Garrison, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. Okay. This looks broken. Looks nice. Who cuts that deep? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Checking for a concussion. You're caught up by one of the reports that I got. Oh, right. Which get your degree, Doc? No need. Don't let anyone be a doctor around here. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Your auditory response seems normal, too. I like them. I could just sit here and listen to them, to be Grabbing honest. Damage control seems to death three. Like what? Morning, Ryder. Or afternoon. Or I don't know. Let me tell you. Good to see you, Ryder. Mm. Mm. Uh, sorry, still waiting for some coffee. damage from a temperature spike. Found it! Bad relay! Ryder! Can you go reset it? I can certainly try, because I absolutely know my way around this shit. There! It's reset! Let's do it! We I didn't just wake now. up a few minutes ago. It's working! Thank God. That could have been the end of everyone in the cryo bay. Oh. Yeah, that's a Good job, Ryder. People. Now we can get to the tram. Okay. Anything I can pick up? I recognize med packs, equipment upgrades. Necessary. Be advised that the right has gone dark. I thought I saw a thermal book earlier. Nice job. Booze? Or shampoo? Who knows? They just said secure all bulkheads and await instructions. Oh, great. Yay. And a place full of bulkheads? Lovely. Uh, event tracking logs. Automated logs. Report run 2819. Identifier Q pads. Uh, your event 2185. Departure procedures confirmed. 2185. Stasis lockdown engaged. Confirmed. 186, anomalous comm sensor readings, report logged. Uh, 2347, trajectory drift detected, report logged. Uh, 2347, course correction, confirmed. Uh, 2411, arcs par... and Leucinia Natanus, condition green. Um, 97. Uh, sensor array fault 
fault detected, report logged. Uh, same year, sensor array, fault repair, failed. Um, 2819, trajectory destination confirmed. 2819, destination location proximity confirmed. Um, 2819, stasis revival engaged, confirmed. Uh, Nexus, Arx, Pachero, Leucinia, Natatis, not detected. Sensor fault. Blech. Error. Oh, lovely. How comforting. We worked on these boats. This is the captain. I still need an update on our sensor array. Please report in as soon as possible. Well, that's the problem. I've got the schematics. Looks pretty straightforward. Is anything straightforward when you're two million light years from home? Worst case, we drift till the Nexus finds us. I'm not sure that's actually the worst case. What do you mean? I heard a radio report and Captain Dunn sounded pretty concerned. More than I've ever seen her. Lovely! Alright, let's use the trail. Because, yeah, I agree. Could be. Nexus doesn't find us. Ever. Helm control, report! We're drifting! Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed golden world. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Lovely. Yeah, the thing blowing up was the last thing I saw. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? Not really. Um, it is her ship. It is her ship, okay? She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My god. Is that our golden world? That's, That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. Uh, that doesn't look very habitable. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. Well, to be fair... She's right. It looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can change. It's been 600 years. Sam. The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are on there. That was lovely. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out, stays out we need to know if that's safe harbor and if it's not as pathfinder it'll be my job to find an alternative it's what we trained for but if this goes well we are already home Lovely. all right just make it quick harper the rest of the team should be awake by now have them spin up two shuttles planet fallen 30 yes sir A stubborn one, isn't he? <laughs> no one ever said Dad was a diplomat. People skills were never his strong suit. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I'm apparently the cavalry. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here.
brother's going to hate that he missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? Oh, yeah. I guess it's in our blood. I was born a minute ahead of him. I never let him forget it. Don't worry. I'm sure Scott will pull through. Yeah, and when he does, he'll want to hear stories. So, let's get out there and find him one. Right. right, you'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. Lovely. Okay, so, helmet. Hang in there, Scott. Looks like Dad's already suited up. That or not, no bathroom breaks on this trip. Fair. Uh, Pathfinder Team Field Manual. Introduction as a member of the Pathfinder Team. You play a critical role in the Andromeda Initiative's efforts to establish a foothold in the new galaxy. The team faces many challenges. Hold in World site verification, reconnaissance and mapping of unknown territories, planetary and celestial, scientific analysis and discovery of new phenomena, uh, potential first contact with extraterrestrials, establishing diplomatic relations with local inhabitants, general support of settlement ap outposts. Okay. We scanned Andromeda. Everything was in the clear. How could things change like that? Shit happens. Uh, first contact protocol. In the event that any member of the Pathfinder team encounters intelligent alien life, it is imperative that first contact protocols be strictly observed. The Andromeda Initiative holds the principles of peace and cooperation among our highest ideals. Aggressive action against extraterrestrials is only permitted when hostile intent is clearly demonstrated and Pathfinder team members are at obvious risk of injury or death. Okay. Everyone who signed up for this trip is want new experiences. Yeah. Hey, Ryder. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. Your dad say anything about what's going on? Not a clue. Um... Tough to say. Sansers can't get a read on the planet. Well, at least it keeps things interesting. Indeed. Yeah, be ashamed to go through all this training and not put it to good use. See you guys on the ride down. No sensor coverage, huh? I'll be flying by the seat of our pants. I hate not knowing. Here we come two million light years and a stupid cloud gets in the way. <laughs> Could be worse. I love it. At least we found the plan. Anything Got it. Right. Got you do it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. Are we expecting trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. Please arm myself. Uh, Fisher, hi. Ryder? Hey, Fisher. How's it going? I heard a rumor from the bridge that your dad and the captain aren't seeing eye to eye on this. They're not. She wasn't thrilled with the idea of the expedition. My dad won her over. I heard you weren't a big fan of it either. It's her ship. Her call. You got guts going against the old man. The way I see it, Pathfinder team answers to the Pathfinder. Besides, your dad's the N7 here. He's got the best aim. I go wherever he goes. Yep, well. Good to know that dad has a rock. All right. Better safe than sorry. You never know. Get to the shuttle. Uh, rock. Good luck, Rock, huh? Your dad was mountain climbing back on Earth. It you caught him from falling. The way things are going today, we'll need any luck we can get. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> so just another boring day at the office, huh? I figure it's a chance to show everyone what we can do. Go out there and earn our stripes. You're Alex's daughter, all right. 
I always wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. Well, if they made it, we can too. And maybe see a dragon along the way. Never know. Let's keep an eye out. And our distance. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, time to get to the shuttle. Yep, this is not Dragon Age. I've seen my share of the Milky Way, and I've never come across anything like it. <laughs> All right. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand, and if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. Actually, yeah. If it's what we hope it is, it'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step. I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. <laughs> All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent, given the situation. We'll be down a man with Scott out. I heard what happened. Your brother's strong. He'll make it. He better. 600 year nap and he oversleeps. You know him. Never was an early riser. Just don't let it get to you. I need you sharp. Oh, good. Yes, sir. No pressure. Your mom would have been proud. Of both of you. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because... You're dreamers, like me. And nepotism. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up, that we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. Been waiting 600 years for this. Good for you, Liam. Unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so, steer clear of it. Yeah. Gravity anomalies detected. See if I can even it out. My stomach would appreciate that. All right. Well, he took off. We're clear. Accelerating to cruising speed. Ryder, we didn't have a chance to meet back in the Milky Way. Name's Liam Costa. Security and response specialist. Good to meet you, Liam. Hard to believe we're finally doing this. Sure beats reading the brochures. We're getting our deceleration. Planet's dead ahead. Ah. Look, port side. That has 
to be advanced engineering. Liberia, this is the Pathfinder. We've gotten evidence of an alien civilization. Has anyone seen us? What if they're not friendly? We stick to contact protocol. No use of deadly force unless hostile intent is clear. Survival training. I've seen my share of troubles. Nothing crazy, but. Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Yes, they are. Terra incognita. All right, well. Some of these plants look like tentacles. They really do. Is the water here even water? I don't know yet. Anyways, I want to thank you all so much for tuning into this episode. Um, and in the meantime, in between time, take care. Have fun. Those structures we saw on the way in? Who could survive in a place like this? <laughs> <laughs>